In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build websites in under 30 minutes using Go High Level. All right, so inside of your sub account under the Sites tab and then under Websites, we're gonna start by clicking New Website and then we're gonna do From Templates. So Go High Level has over a thousand website templates that we can choose from in different niches. So let's say our niche is real estate. We can type in real estate right here and we can find a bunch of real estate website templates that we can pick from. So just go through, type in your niche that you're looking for, find a website template that you like the general look of, right? We're not gonna use the exact look of the template. We're gonna change some things around on it. We're gonna go to this one. I like this one right here. We're gonna preview it real quick, take a quick peek at it, and uh, everything looks good to me. Then we're gonna hit continue, and then it's gonna add this template to our account. And a pro tip, if you can't find a website template that you like in the website template library, we can go back, we can go to funnels, and then we can click new funnel and we can choose from funnel templates, which are different than the website templates. And there's a lot of options here that maybe if you couldn't find one in the website templates, you can choose one that you like here. So let's say we like this one right here. We can open this one up, continue, import this one into our account once this loads. And now that we have this funnel template card guru right here, we can go back to our websites and we could click on this template that we chose from. Maybe we have a template, a basic template, but maybe we like a page from one of the funnels. We can click add new page right here and then we can name the page. Let's say it's like a contact page or something like that. We could do backslash contact right here. We're gonna hit create new page. Then it's gonna add a blank page to our website. But what's cool about this is we can click use existing right here and we can choose from our funnel templates. So we can choose that car guru template and then we can choose one of the steps from our car guru template that we really like. Let's say it's the home page right here and we can preview it real quick. Then we can click import and we can import a funnel template page into a website. So we're not just limited to the website template library. We can also use the funnel template library as well, which will just give us a lot more options for what we're trying to do. But once you have the website template you like, maybe you've imported a funnel page into the website template, that's totally fine. We're gonna click edit right here and open up our website builder. As you'll see in a lot of the website templates, the text is very generic, the headlines, the paragraphs. You'll definitely wanna update and change depending on your client's needs or your needs if this is a website for yourself. The first thing to note is our background. This is the green box that you see here that I have selected inside of a background, the screen boxes, we have smaller blue boxes. And then inside of the blue boxes, we have purple boxes. And then inside of the purple boxes, we have orange boxes, which are our actual elements that we're adding, like our headlines, our paragraphs, our buttons, our forms, our calendars, lots of different things we can add in here. So I like to start in the back layer first, which is the green box. If we don't like this image right here, we can click this green box and then everything is edited over on the right side. And so we can go to this image box right here and we can change our image by simply clicking on this little image logo. It'll pop up with the images that we've uploaded into our account. If you haven't uploaded any yet, you can click upload file and it'll open up into your computer files and you can select an image that you want to change out for the one that's already there. And another really cool method that'll make your websites pop and stand out is you can switch it to a video background. So you can have a video background that plays as soon as somebody loads onto your website and you can upload that video the same way, clicking on this little icon right here. I'm going to go ahead and upload a quick video just so you guys can see what it looks like. Another pro tip, canva.com is a great place to find free stock images and videos that you can use for your website that are royalty free. And so we can go to elements inside of Canva. We can type in real estate since that's the niche of the website that we're building. And then we can go to videos right here. And I'm going to find a video real quick that we can use for our hero section background on the homepage of our website. Here's this one that I uploaded from Canva. I'm just going to double click on it and then it'll update it as my video background in the editor. It won't play. So you have to actually preview the website to see what it looks like. As you can see on the right sides, we have these black bars. I don't really like that. I want it to fill up the entire space so we can go over to where it says fit and we can do fill and it'll fill up the entire space. And then we can change the padding on the top and the bottom so it's not so like stretched out and it doesn't look distorted at all. And so we can go right here to padding, which is kind of what's squishing this. We need more padding and we need to stretch it out a little bit. So we can go to padding over here on the right and we can click and maybe type this to like 350 instead, hit enter. And then you can see it kind of like stretches back out, makes it look a little bit more normal. And then we can go up to this little eyeball button. We can preview this page and see what the video background looks like. And so here's the preview. Now we can see what the video actually looks like. Another thing we'll want to change is definitely the logo up here. We can click this orange box. Anytime you want to change an element like a logo or a button or a paragraph, you'll want to click on the orange box where it's located. 
And then over here on the right, we can go down to where this image is at. It's right here. We find the logo and then we can change out the logo with our own custom logo. I'm just going to use the high level logo for this example. So I'm going to click on this and boom, it pastes in the logo and you can change the dimensions of it, the width and the height right here. As we know, typing out a paragraph of text can take a while. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to select this, copy all of this right here, and then we're going to click AI and then we're gonna click generate with AI. Go High Level has a built-in AI text generator. We could type in a brief description right here of what we want it to say. So I just typed out, give me a paragraph about our real estate company and how we make the home buying process simple and fun. And then we could do additional options right here. We can have a writing tone and we can do up to five different variations. I'm just gonna do three and then the writing tone. I'm just gonna do professional for this example and then we'll hit generate. After a few seconds, it's given us three different options. Revolutionizing home buying, effortless, joyful, unforgettable, your dream journey begins here. So anyway, you can look at the three of them, pick the one that you like. I'm just going to choose the top one here, copy it, paste it into this box, and then we can hit continue. And then boom, it pasted it right onto our website. So this will make it really easy as you go down and you change this text out for yourself or for your client. Using AI will really help speed up the process as you build these websites. Another cool thing is for images, we have image AI built in to go high level. So if we select this image right here, maybe we don't like it. Maybe we want to change it out with something else. We can go click the image icon right here where we select our image and we can hit create image using AI. And same kind of deal, we can type in what we want the image to look like. I just typed in a living room in a beautiful home and then then we can do a couple different variations. I'll do three variations. And then you could choose your image style. I want it to look like a photo. And so I'm gonna hit generate. And then it gives us our three different variations here that all look really good in my opinion. I think maybe I like this, uh, this one right here. I'm gonna click continue and then it'll paste this image right into our website right here. And it looks like a realistic photo of a living room. So this is really cool to help you get a lot of different images for your website very quickly. AI generates them within a few seconds. Another really important thing to mention is to go back and forth between desktop view that we're in right now, and then we can switch into mobile view and we can see what our website looks like in mobile view. Let's say this video, it's really elongated in mobile view and let's say we don't want it to look like that. Maybe we don't even wanna use a video on the mobile version, only on the desktop version. We can click this green box right here and then we can go to advanced settings and then we can toggle it off on mobile so that it only shows on desktop, which looks a lot better. When we go back to desktop, you'll see it's still there. When we switch back to mobile, it's gone now. And so you can kind of go between the two, between desktop and mobile, and you can go to the advanced settings of any section that you click on, any box really. You can select an orange box here and do the same thing. Let's say we wanted this one to show on mobile only and not desktop. We could toggle it off on desktop as well and you can go between and, and just make sure the proper elements are shown and hidden between both versions of the website. Any buttons that you have on your website under the general settings, you can change what the button says by clicking down here, the text option, and you can change what that button says. You can go down to button action and you can say what you want to happen after the button is clicked. So there's a lot of different things we can do here with this. We can have it call a specific phone number when the button is clicked. Most often we'll have it go to a specific page, another page of our website when it's clicked on. So I'm gonna select go to page. And so we can select from our other pages that are inside out of our website and maybe we have this button go to our calendar page where they can book an appointment onto a calendar. And so we can set all that up just like this. Colors you can change to any colors you want. Let's say this tannish brownish background we don't like. We can go to background colors, select this. And then it has a few different default color options. Let's say we don't like these ones here. We can go to add custom and then we can select from a color picker here, whatever color we want this background to look like. Let's say we wanted to change it to a I don't know, a blue background, for example. Um, let's do like a darker blue like this. And then we can select that and we can click add color. And then boom, it changes. And now we have this color that we can use for all of our different sections. It saves it in our color library. And so if we wanted to change you know, the background of this box right here to that same blue, now it's saved right here at the very latest. And so we can change the color scheme of our entire website very quickly that way. Uh, another cool thing that Go High Level does is it makes global updates in the header and the footer section. And so up here in the header, we have our navigation menu that has home, about, services, contact, schedule an appointment. If you change anything in the header, it'll globally make those changes to the entire website. If we change home right here to say something different. It'll also change it on all of our other pages that we can switch between right here. And the same goes for our footer, which is at the very bottom of our website, this section down here. If we change any of this information down here in this footer box, which is this purple box, it'll also update it across the entire website on all the pages. And other than the header and the footer, if you wanted to make any other section a global section, let's say this green section right here with the map you wanted on every single page of your website, you can select it 
we can go up to the plus sign right here and then we can go to global sections and then we can add it as a global section. We only have three different options here. So you would have to change another global section if you wanted to update it with this global section. Let's say this is the one right here and this one we could change and we could just type in like map since this one shows the map and then we could update it and it'll update whatever box you have selected. So now if we change anything inside of this green box right here, it'll change on all the other pages and update automatically, which just makes our website build out workflow a lot smoother, a lot quicker. Let's say we wanted to add a certain element somewhere on our website. We can hover over this orange box here. We can click the little plus sign below it. And if we want something to go below this paragraph, we can click this little plus sign and we can see from all the different options that we have, headlines, subheadlines, paragraphs, bulleted lists, a button, a form, you know, blog posts, category navigation, image slider, videos, images, FAQs, custom coded elements, surveys, calendars, maps, SVG images, a reviews widget that'll pull from our Google business profile and show active reviews that have been left on our Google business page, countdown, minute timer, day timer, a navigation menu, which would be at the top, probably not something we'd put here, a page divider, progress bar, image feature, social media icons that whenever they're clicked on, it'll take the customer to your social media pages. And then we could put order forms, a two-step or a one-step order form so that people can actually purchase products and services through our page. I won't go into all the little tiny details in this video of how to use the website builder inside of Go High Level. It's really simple to use, really easy to figure out. I just wanted to show you some of these pro tips on how to design websites really quickly so you can build them out faster for your clients or for yourself. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to use the website builder, you you can check out my free website SaaS masterclass down below, which teaches you in depth how to start an agency building websites, plus integrating software into local businesses, helping them to get more leads, get more customers, and ultimately help grow their business. You can check that out down below. And if you haven't started using Go High Level yet, you can get a 30 day free trial with my affiliate link. And if you sign up with my link, I'll jump on free Zoom calls with you twice a week. I can help you build your website, set up the Go High Level software, automations, whatever you're looking to do inside of Go High Level, I'm here to give you personally catered help. Please remember to like and subscribe. I appreciate y'all love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.